Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? I am just trying to get a good setup on my camera. I'm gonna open up my iPad and make sure my sound is turned down. Whoop, wrong way. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Hi, Miss Pat. How are you? Hi, Fatima. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Cynthia. All right. Just waiting for a couple more people to come on. And then we'll get started. Yay! Hi, Chatal from Canada. How are you, honey? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Victoria. Whoa, we already have 15 people, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm Dawn from Dawn G Designs. And I just started posting on Instagram, and it's D.L. Malson. And then um, my the Poker Doodles Facebook page and the Poker Doodles website. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start. I always do my skin tones. If you watch me a lot, you know that I always do skin. Then I do hair. So let's get started. Um, let's see. I did that. And there's a lot of people in the kitchen. And I apologize. They will be out in a minute. All right. So this is my base coat. Isn't she adorable, Stephanie? Poke Doodle's images are the sweetest. Got these cute little cherub faces. So I print her out on sweet sentiment paper. And I printed her out at three and three eighths. Thanks, babe. And in her little feet. Hi, Gloria. Yes, yeah, she is darling. So, I'm going to give you a forewarning. There are supposed to be thunderstorms in my area. So, just in case we get knocked out, I will keep recording so that you can see. Hi, Jacqueline. So that you can see the finished product. I'm sorry, Jacqueline, that your electricity is out. Ugh. That is terrible. All right, right now I'm laying down where I want to put my shadow. Everywhere that you're going to put some shadow, lay down your E double zero. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have you in really close. So, how's everybody faring? I hope well. You had them last night. That's right, Victoria. April showers bring May flowers. What did the May flower bring? Who remembers that in elementary school? just lightly adding because this is where I'm going to start laying my E04, E11 and E21 okay start with our E04 hi Gail hey hey the gang's all here alright 
so. Just going ever so lightly with my EO4. And yes, it looks dark, but once we get her hair in, hi, Vi. You drew our pictures to that prompt? Yup, I bet. Haven't seen you in a while, Vi. I hope you're doing well. All right, so just a hint under her neck. And then we're gonna do her arms. I wish I could magnify this so that I can see it like you're seeing it. I'm telling you, but that's okay. I printed her out a little smaller than normal because I wanna put her in a circle. And usually when I'm coloring something small, if I'm not going to cut her out, then I just cut her on the paper and I have more to hold on to. But because y'all are here, I'm just, I just cut her out. So you guys don't have to sit and wait for my silhouette to cut her out. And I'm doing fine detail work. Everybody holding their breath. <sighs> okay, that was the E04. Now we're going in with the E11. Hi, Sandra. Hey, Jesse. I'm well done. Just busy during the day care of my aunt staying at home. I'm able to catch her live today. Oh, I'm so happy, Vi. Well, I'm glad that you're busy and I just want to say thank you for taking care of your aunt that's wonderful that she has somebody that she can depend on it's not an easy task I took care of my mother-in-law and my father-in-law until they passed and it's hard, thankless job. But it's so worth it. All right, I'm just going to barely touch this over her nose. Like so. Did anybody download this precious image? I hope so. I finally learned the silhouette how to trace and cut. Oh, Gail. Thank you, Fatima. You are going to love your silhouette. Did you know that you can import your digi images onto your mat? And it is so easy. went in a little too heavy on that side but that is a-okay all right then our e21 I'm just blending going a little further down her face because there would be a shadow where her hair is So a friend of mine made us masks. So Rob has taken Joshua out because he has a mask to wear now. So I'm so super excited that he's able to get out of the house and that he's gonna be covered. And I can't thank my friend enough. All 
All right, I'm just laying just a little bit down like where her fingers are to give her some shading. Hi, Kathy. Yes, I just found out that. Yeah, Gail, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Did you know that I design my cards on the silhouette? That you can buy digi paper and import it into the the boxes that you make. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we're going back. I mean, hey, Jackie. You're so funny. I know coloring is so important, but I know when I'm cleaning up, that's the last thing I want to do is straighten up my craft room. But somebody's got to do it. All right, I'm gonna come out a little far right here where I'm gonna add my blush. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit right here because that's where her blush is gonna go. And I'm just going to go around the bottom. Now I'm gonna start blending into the dark. Everywhere where I lay dark, you're going to take your EO4, um, excuse me, your EO00 and blend into the dark. You do not want to spread your darkness around. Just push into it. Because then you're going to go back in with your E double zero, triple zero, I'm sorry. And lay down your last color for the skin. I know you do, Miss Pat. That's wonderful. I'm so glad you're on today. Coloring is so relaxing. Who agrees with me? I could color all day, every day. I do color every day though. It helps increase your skill with coloring. It helps you to be more confident. Okay, so now I'm going to get my R20, which is my blush. Did you, if I was stop shopping online, I would have lost. Oh, so funny, Jesse. Hi, Polly. Yay, Miss Pat. Um, yes, I did. Oh my gosh, my guys, my silhouette. Oh, it wasn't working, and I was freaking out I wonder should I come in here's my sample hold on let me see what it'll look like if I come in yeah that's too much okay so I'm just going to give some flicks here All right, and then we're gonna go in with our R00. And I'm blending in what I've laid down so we don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm gonna go back in with my E000. and blend even more. And there she is. Isn't she a cutie? Oh my goodness. All right, 
All right, so I do hair next. So for her hair, it is E18, E15, E13, and E11. Uh, I do, I do. I'm sorry, I forgot what I asked. What did I ask? Can you see his? Okay, I just want to make sure you can see. See, isn't that a shame? I just asked it. Who else here has a silhouette? Hi, Helen. Oh, I know. Time is just flying. Seems like, I mean, I even got up. Remember I told you guys I was going to try to get back on my schedule? So, I even got up at my regular time. But, man. It just, time is just flying by. Let's see, where else do we want to put? Um, this hair is overlapping right there. So let's just. Add some dark. Yes, Melissa, I love my silhouette. Yes, Jesse, the silhouette is the best. Of course, you know, I'm a little biased because I have one, but I absolutely love it. I import my digis onto it. I design my cards. I do everything on it. I cut out my um mats i import my digi paper and cut it out from there it's just like awesome sauce yes there's a learning curve but once you master there's no stopping you all right I'm actually talking while I'm doing fine detail work. Are you guys proud of me? I know I'm proud of me right now. Because <laughs> you know I can't do that. Nah. Because I'm not overthinking it. I'm just taking my time. And I'm not rushing. We're going to do this side of her hair first. Okay, now we're going in with our E15. Do you prefer the scan and cut, Dawn? Um, I have a scan and cut. I just... Hello, everyone. Been a while since I could get on. I'm a social worker, as you can imagine. Everybody's, oh, Helen. Thank you so much for doing what you do. I'm sure you're overwhelmed right now. My daughter-in-law is a social worker. She works with um, addictions, alcohol, drug, and she works for the army, so she's working with soldiers. And I think they're family members too. I'm not quite sure how that works. But I'm very proud of her, and it is. It's hard, hard, thankless job. So thank you for doing what you do. All right, scan and cut. I can't give you a biased comment about the scan and cut because I never downloaded the software. So I don't know. I would imagine you could do the same thing on the scan and cut, but because I don't know, I can't give you an opinion. I do have one. Somebody that has the scan and cut, 
Me too, mental health and forensics. Very hard at the moment. I bet. Thank you, Polly. Hi, Miss Lynn. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I got caught up reading the comments. What was I saying? Oh, anybody have a scan and cut where they can let us know? I'm just going to go ahead and do the top here since I already started. What the, um, I have the designer edition on the silhouette and I'm, thank you, Helen. Um, do you have the, did you download the, um, wow, why my brain won't work. The software that goes with it. Have you tried it? I am just doing brown hair today. I don't usually do just like a um, mild color, but today we are, I'm trying to see where this hair goes. We are going to go right here. Oh, that's awesome, Gail. I would, you do scrapbooking too, Miss Pat? That's wonderful. I used to do that. I still have everything I need to scrapbook. I've just got caught up in the card making world and coloring. And by golly, that's all I want to do. All right, that was the E13. So let's go to our E11, which is our highlight color. Now remember, on the first pass, I'm very light-handed with my coloring. It's when I go the second pass that I get more bold because right now, what I'm doing is mapping out where I want my highlights and my lowlights. But when you do your second pass is when you get bolder. With your strokes. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back in. You need to get your scan and cut out of your box, silly girl. Oh no, go take care of Beryl. All right. So this is my shadow color. So here we go. And you will see, I will go further out. I'm using Sweet Sentiment paper. I love this paper because you can, like, see, I'm not worried about blending that because it will blend perfectly when I go back to it. It's just the way the paper is made that it holds. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Oh, well. It holds the color, but when you get it wet again, it resaturates the paper and the ink so that you don't have to worry about it not blending. Hi, Tina. Okay, so again, bolder with my second pass. But yeah, I love my silhouette.
if I can ever do a share screen, maybe when I get my YouTube running, which at this point, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. I will do a share screen and just show you what I've learned because, yeah. I had to be taught. A good friend of mine showed me how to not be afraid of it. Because it can be intimidating. I'm not going to lie. All those buttons and functions. But I am making full use of my scan, of my scan and cut, of my silhouette now. All right, I just went ahead and I'm not going to do a highlight color right there. I'm just going to fix that so it doesn't look like I'm in or out of the lines when in actuality I did. Right? And then our highlight color. Isn't it a huge game changer when you do two layers? It's like night and day. All right, all right, so I'm gonna take this and blend this a little better. Yeah, I like that better. All right, start on the other side. So we already have our E, we'll get with our E18. I'm sold on it now. I used to be the first time yesterday when another Dawn hack laugh out loud. <laughs> so exciting Alan yes I am so excited yes this is my design team project for polka doodles today I do three polka doodles a month and this is Winnie celebration it's called hooray Winnie Celebration 3. And the paper I'm using today is also Winnie Celebration 3. So, like always, I will have a blog post with everything Copa Combos, card dimensions, everything that you'll need to make this card will be on my blog post and I will post it on my Don G Designs page. Poke doodles, Tina. So if you haven't liked my Don G Designs page, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. And then when we're done coloring, we will be making a card. Let's see, been a DTOL all jacket, but thank you, Lily. Oh, hi, Wilma. I know. Isn't she adorable? You got the mermaids? Um, hint, hint, wink, 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 wink. So did I. I bought one mermaid, and I will be doing a live with her. Just saying. So keep a lookout. And Tina, my dear, next week I'm doing an animal because you requested it. I have the rest of this month planned out, but if there is um, something that you want me to color, go ahead and private message me. And I will see what I can do. I do this for you, so it should only be fair that you pick out some of them. Okay. 
Oh, thank you, Jackie. I want you guys to be happy. I do this for you. All right, so I'm just going ahead and finish that off. I'm going to leave some white right there because that's where I'm going to put my highlight. Okay, E11. The one I got, Tina, was the um, Poker Doodles, the one kissing. Um, hold, hugging the porpoise or dolphin, whatever. That's the one I'm doing later on in the month. Oh, did I do down here? All right, so I don't know. Yeah, it's the one where she's swimming she has um the porpoise or whatever a dolphin porpoise and she's holding on to it that's the one i got then that's the one i will be doing and it'll be my first mermaid so go easy on me another thing i love about sweet sentiment paper is that you can go over it you know several times and it won't get gunky or you know just get nasty you know how sometimes you get like that jelly look you won't get that with the sweet sentiments is that it jackie thank you yes the swimming one Thank you so much, Jackie. That was very sweet of you. So if you guys want to color along with me on that one, go ahead and pick that one up as well. And I know it gets kind of boring watching me do the same hair color twice, but I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Pat. I love you. Take care of yourself. Miss Pat goes to my church. And she is the sweetest lady ever. All right. Then our last color, and we're done with the hair, is E11. Oh, really, hey, Helen? <laughs> well, welcome, Helen's daughter. Say hi. All right. Okay, her hair is done. It's like a reddish orange color. Yeah, how do you learn to color so well? Hi, Margaret. Um, lots of practice. Just taking my time, watching other people color. Um, yeah. You just have to take your time and color every day. Guys, won't me move you back closer? There we go. I color every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. All right, right now, I'm laying down my shadow color. Thank you guys. Even I haven't seen her. Oh, Helen, I'm sorry. Yeah. This, hopefully this will all be over soon. All right, so I'm, it's gonna be some shading underneath 
her chin. Thank you for the comment. I appreciate it. I love to color and I want it to look nice for you guys. So right now I'm laying down where I want my darkest my shadow this is my shadow i go dark to light some people go light to dark then back up um i just i just started dark to light and i'm happy and then i'll what i do is i go dark to light and then back back down and then i do it again not back down I'm confusing myself. Okay, that was V28. This is V25. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so now we're going to go a little further into her out her blouse. Bring down my shadows. This is my mid-tone. So your highlight colors are one, the last number on your Copic. Not this number, but this number is, will tell you if it's a highlight or a mid-tone or a shadow. So one to four is highlight. Five, I think it's the seven. No. Let me think. I'm I'm confusing myself. I think it's one to three is highlight. Four to six is mid tone. And seven to nine is shadow. See? I knew I could get it. Just had to think for a second. So is anybody else going to get this adorable image? She makes the cutest birthday card. Okay, V22. Or any celebration card. I am taking my lightest and coloring Hello Janet, we love new people. Hi Janet. How do you decide what colors to use? Um Well, sometimes I go to just for fun crafts and look and see what she has. Uh, but when I'm making a card, I pick out my paper first. Always pick your paper first. It makes it so much easier. Because then all you, you just pick out your colors from there. All right, so I'm going to go back in with my mid-tone. Remember, when we're done this, we're going to make a card. I'm also going to have a blog post with everything that I'm using and links. I don't have affiliate, affiliate links, so you can don't have to worry about that when you go on my links, when I post a link. Also... If you would go and like my Don G Designs page, I would pr truly appreciate it. You can also go to Craft Stamp Color with Polka Doodles and like their page. All right, enough advertising. That's boring stuff. Um, I don't think I need any more right here. It looks pretty good. So let's go in with our V22 and notice I just went to buy her an OMG. I had her from the last Poke Doodles haul. Oh, that's funny, Jackie. 
You do that a lot, Helen. <laughs> yeah, she's easy to color. Once you get the hair done, it's easy street. She makes a quick card, quick color and a quick card. So for her little pants, I use the BGs. So it's BG07, BG05, and BG01. Thank you, Vi. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, um, I learned that the hard way when I would color something and then I had to go and find the paper. I was like, um, no, this isn't going to happen. So I just started picking out my paper first and then pull in the colors from there. That way your card matches and everything looks hunky-dory. Boy, that's an old saying, hunky-dory. Okay, that was the BG07. Now I'm going in with my BG05. I'm going to color from there. I love my Copics, but I can't order Dizzy's because I don't have the right kind of printer that's compatible. Hi, Janie. Um, some of the girls on here, I use a laser printer, but some of the girls on here use inkjet. I know I've seen the Jackie... Jackie, can you tell her how to do it? I've seen that she has made a comment before that she uses the inkjet. I'm telling you, digis are the wave of the future, people. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my BG01. Yes, Polly, I did, honey. I meant to thank you and Life got in the way. But I love them. All right, so see how I'm pushing into the dark? I'm not pulling it out further into my image. Welcome everybody that's new. We have a nice healthy crowd today. I'm so excited. If you're a first time watcher, what kind of paper? I'm using Sweet Sentiment paper. Um, hold on. You can go to sweetsentiment.us and it is the best paper I found. Or you can use Copic Express It paper. Thank you, Melissa, for stopping by. I'm so happy that everybody's here today. All right, let's color these tiny little shoes. Like I said, I will have everything on my blog post. And um, I will be posting the link on my Dawn G Designs page. So if you could go and like my page, I would appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to give her some depth over here and some over here. Whoops. All right, that was the T6, then the T4. Hi, Betsy. Um, yes, I cut her out with a silhouette machine. No, I am so not good at fussy cutting this well. Just saying. But thank you <laughs> for giving me the benefit of the doubt. 
All right, guys, she's colored. So now we're gonna put our card together. Okay. There we go. And she is done. I'm looking at her. Let me inspect her to see if I like her. And the best thing about Copics is that you can always go in and do another layer. Just want to give a little more blending. And I think I want to do her top one more time and then we will move on to our card. Just the highlight color. Okay. So I am making a five and a half by five and a half inch card. Have you got a new overhead camera, Don, while I've been absent? Uh, no, actually, I'm just using my phone. I just use my phone. Okay, so this is a five and a half by five and a half inch card, okay? And I don't do the panel until after I get it all together. So our first layer is five and three eighths by two, um, by two, listen to me, five and three eighths square, five and three eighths by five and three eighths, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this paper is Winnie Celebrations three. Uh, let me find my glue. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Now, if you guys missed any part of the video, I will be sharing it on my Donji Designs page. And all you have to do, if you're on your laptop or computer, there will be a list on the left side that will have words. And one of the words is videos. So all you have to do is click video and you will see you will see this one there and when I'm done, I will post it. I don't know how long it takes to pop up. I can't imagine it's very long. And um, you'll be able to rewatch it and color along. That way you can stop it and do whatever you need to do. Okay, so this piece is five and an eighth by three and an eighth. And this is five by three. And I'm just using Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I'm just using purple cardstock. I found some cards. I'm a Mac girl. Anybody that watches me all the time knows that I love to mat. Do you make your own blank cards? Yes, Tina, I do. I take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of card uh, card stock and then I cut it off at the five and a half mark and then I score it at five and a half okay that's going to go there yeah so let's go ahead and glue this down I've never seen any of your videos can't wait to see the whole thing I love Copix we'll check out your YouTube um, hi Barb I don't have a YouTube yet thank you for joining us I'm working, well, actually, my husband's supposed to be working on it, but it looks like I'm going to have to figure it out because I need to upload these videos to my a YouTube channel, right? At least that's what I've been told. This piece, four and a quarter, three and seven eighths, four and an eighth by three and a quarter. Hi, Tanya. Thank you, Barb. I'm so glad that you are enjoying this live. 
like I said, if you guys missed any of it, it will be on my Don G Designs page under videos and I will be posting it when we are done. All right, so I'm gonna set this, it's gonna go right here. I just wanna put some placement together here. Five and an eighth by seven eighths, five by three and a quarter. And on my blog post, I'll have all these measurements down, all the Copic colors, everything that you will need to make this card. And none of my links are affiliate links. So feel free to click away. And this is going to go right here. So let me make sure that's where I want it. Okay. Do you use liquid glue exclusively? Yes, Barbie, I do. I did have a tape runner, but it broke on me. And I was like, well, I have this glue. Let's try it. I think this is where I want this. Hold on. I'm going to put this here. Uh, right here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, now I only use the Tombow Mono liquid glue. And I bought from Amazon, I think I bought 10 bottles of the extra large. And it'll last me a long time. Because you see, I don't use that much. Because you don't want your papers to warp. Alright, so we got this. The first time watching one of your videos, I feel like this is going to be a great find for me. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Thank you, Barbie. Hi, Cheryl. Let's see, do you... Um, and you make your own envelopes? No, Tina, I use um, six by nine envelopes. Unless they're puffy. If, if I have a lot of layers like flowers or whatnot on here, then I will put it in a bubble mailer. But if it's a flat card and it doesn't have a lot of um, paper on it so that it's not too heavy, in a six by nine envelope, it's only, um, I think, 70 cents to mail. Okay, this circle is three and a quarter for the mat and three and five eighths for the pattern paper. And let me tell you what I did. So on my silhouette, um, on my silhouette, I had this circle. I had drawn this circle on my mat. So I went to the Digi, because this is Digi paper from Polka Doodles. I went to the paper, I clicked on it, dragged it, and it went in the circle. So all I had to do is cut out this much of the paper. Is that freaking amazing or what? I'm telling you people, get your silhouettes out. All right, and this is a polka doodles die too. Hold on. It is. Whoops. It is the perfect parcels polka doodles craft die. See? It's awesome. I hope I didn't break anything. Everything was crashing to the ground. Did you hear all that? Yeah, I love these purples, too. I've been, if you've noticed, I've been doing purple a lot lately. Gotten on a purple kick. So, I'm going to add them right here. So, let's go ahead and glue those down. While I have my circle on there so that I know... about where to put it. And purple nails, yes. That's funny. 
I guess I'm on a purple kick, people. Right? Oh, things are still falling. Can you tell my craft room's a mess? Just saying. Just saying. Isn't this die so cute and it's so versatile? You can use it for birthdays, any kind of gifts for Christmas. You can just cut it out in different colored papers. Love this die. All right, I'm gonna sit that right there. Purple is the color of change. Hmm, wonder what I'm changing in my life. All right, so before I put this down, wait a minute, let's do our bow. So I used a bow it all for to bow this, and this is a double bow. I will link the bow it all on my blog post. If you don't have one, run don't walk run to the store and get one just saying you will love this thing it makes perfect bows now as i said before there is a learning curve but once you master it you will be so happy that you did hi miriam Thank you and welcome. Oh yeah, Tanya. <laughs> I know when I was doing mixed media, my desk was covered too. All right. I think, you know what I wanna do? Is I wanna put a little pop dot or um, a zot and think of the word underneath my bow right here so that it will lay flat and I can't wait till a nail salon opens because my nails are getting way too long I hope they're not too distracting all right so I'm gonna pop that down there that way it won't move around oh no thanks cat um oh I, it it takes practice it really does but um there's great video if i can find the video of the girl who does it then i will link it on my blog so that you can see the one that I learned watching. All right, so, so a question, should we pop her up? Yeah, let's pop her up, we'll glue this flat. And again, I designed this all on my silhouette. But you can so cut all these dimensions out yourself. You don't need a silhouette to make this card. You do you. All right. All right, and here's my saying. This is a birthday card. You're welcome, Mary. Yeah, maybe I'll do that today. I'll just file them down because they're gel. And I know you can't cut gel unless you want to rip them off. I know I keep saying I'm going to do that, but, you know, life gets away from me. Then I look at them right before I go on a live and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're terrible. All right, so let's pop her up. Get her on the card. Yeah, you don't need a silhouette. 
you can do like I give like on my blog I will give I give you all the dimensions so you can cut this just with any cutter you have you do not need a silhouette this card is completely doable without it I didn't want people to think that they had to have one to make this card if that's how I was coming across, I completely apologize. That was not my intent. All right, let's pop her up. I like this birthday sentiment. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. Oh, do you see that? Electricity just popped. All right, connection available. All right, you guys still there? Okay. All right, let's get this done so we can be done with it. Hi, Janie. I mean, sorry, Janie, thank you. Where did I get what from? Where do you get them from, Cheryl? Okay, good. I'm glad you guys are back. This is Polka Doodles. This is um, Hooray Winnie. And she is with the Winnie Celebration 3. So is the paper. Alright, so this is going to go right here. Do we need something up here? What do you guys think? Thank you, Tina. Um, let me, what about some bling? I didn't think this through. Some sequins. Love it as it is. Okay, I have more love it as it is than anything else. Thank you. I always go with a touch of bling. I got these. No. Let's try one. Where'd it go? There it is. Two. Ooh, a butterfly would be cute. Mm. I should have done this beforehand so you guys didn't have to sit around and watch me play. Um, well, maybe I'll mess with it later, but let me take these off because I'm not completely sure I like them. And we'll glue this on the base. I can play with it later. Watching the when you're my nails got to go back to your knees. Oh, that's a good idea, Barbie. You love to watch, hi Sherry. You love to watch me play? All right, well, anybody that needs to go, thank you for watching. We're gonna play, I guess. That's what I'm hearing. Wanna watch my creative process? 
But this is the completed card minus any bling at the moment. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to play a little bit because I have people wanting to see. And this will be up on my Donji Designs page. After we're done, I'll be there. That's okay, Sherry. Yeah, I will have the replay up in a minute. Once. All right, so how about this? But what we do three butterflies. And then add these tiny little dots. Me too, Vi. It was so nice seeing you. All right, so let's do the butterflies. And this is a zig glue, two-way glue gun. I'm just gonna put some glue down. Put that there. Do the same thing over here. Oh, okay. I'll do that, Helen. That's a good idea. See if I can get this one to bend up. There we go. And then this little guy we'll put right here. Right. So what about these tiny little ones that I can't imagine I would use on anything else and put them in the butterflies. What do you think? Too much? Um, this is called a quick stick. It's it's sticky on the end and then the back comes off so that you can hold things down while it's gluing. Do we like these little diamonds in here, rhinestones, or do I take them out? You guys think you 
Yes, for leave the bling. Thanks. I've never seen one of those. I'll have to look for one. Yeah, it's great, Barbie. All right. So now our card is done. Yay. It's not hard at all. Just cut the dimensions out that I give you. So make sure you go to my blog post. Um, go to my Don G Designs page. Like it. And I will be doing a blog right after this. So that it doesn't take me forever to get it on. And um, you will have everything that you need to make this card. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for all the new timers. Um, just... Thank you, everybody. I appreciate... What is the tape you use for the ribbon? Oh, just washi tape. Just use your old washi tape. I know everybody has 20,000 rolls of this stuff. So I just use washi tape to hold it down. Thanks, Barbie. All right, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Can I send you a picture of what I'm doing? Yes, Karen. Absolutely. All right, guys. I will see you. What is today? Thursday? I will see you Sunday. Um, Sunday is Easter. Would you guys be interested in me doing a live Easter, after, Easter evening at 6? Welcome. I don't know if I'm going to do one or not. I have one planned. I probably should just go ahead and do it because it's one of my design team projects. So, all right. Vi says, thank you. See you on Easter. All right. Then I'll see you guys Easter evening at 6 o'clock. And um, until then, happy crafting. Bye. Oh, you know what? I'm so stupid, guys. I put the wrong one on here. Let's see if I can get this up. All right, I'll let you guys go. I just realized I put my practice one on. And I don't want that. All right. So... See, we all make mistakes, and they are fixable. They are totally fixable. You just take your time. Oops. Yeah, I shouldn't have called myself stupid. I apologize. I need to stop doing that, but this is the one we colored today, so we want that one on the card. And then let's get these off. Thank you. All right, see there's like, it goes through right there. We don't want our tape to show. Not that anybody would. <laughs> Barbie, thank you. <laughs> All right, so. Let's put her right. Here, now she's done. <laughs> oh my goodness. You like to practice one, Sandra? <laughs> you and Jackie, right? Okay, guys, now she's done. I will pick, take pictures of her and put her on my blog. All right, guys, until I see you again. I'll see you Easter at six o'clock. Happy crafting. Bye.